Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm not ASMRing anymore because finally the person who was sleeping in the living room is gone. So it's <laughs> back to normal now. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be looking at Dragalia Lost and going over the Mana Spiral for Leia. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. Uh, if you do, you can leave a like. You can leave your comment about how you're feeling about Leia. I feel like, in general, most people seem pretty down on Mana Spirals coming from Trials of the Mighty. But I also feel like most of the people I see say that are super meta obsessed and it's like the last thing I care about in Dragalia. So let's see how she does. As long as she seems perfectly usable, that's actually all that matters. Because who cares about top meta? Controversial statements. Let's go into it. Leia. Or Leia? 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 Lua? Lou. Alright, Road to Glory. Shareable 6, deals damage to enemies directly ahead, dispels 1 buff from each target, and inflicts burn. Burning takes uh, burning foes take extra damage. Damage is 330 over 5 hits. Skill energy required is 2325. When it's a skilled shared unit, what? When it's a shared skill attack, it is 13601. Special effects are dispel buffs. Burn lasts 12 seconds, and the damage modifier against burning enemies is 150%. Laurel Revolution summons Crimson Garden, then deals damage to enemies directly ahead. Additional bonus damage will be dealt relative to the damage taken while Crimson Guard is active. If the user's HP is above 60% of max HP when using this skill, they will take damage equal to 20% of their maximum HP. Damage is 820 over 2 hits. Skill energy required is 4,730 and counter damage is 1,100% of damage taken. Hmm. Co op ability, Dragon Haze 15%. Chain co op ability, Flame. HP below 60% equals HP regen 6. Crimson Oath increases the damage to scorched enemies by 15% and force strike damage by 50%. Using Road to Glory grants the user a Crimson Glory effect and a strength amp with a maximum team amp level of 2. After you use it, can use it again for 30 seconds because every single one of these units has to have that ability on it. When Crimson Glory is active, the user's next 4 strike will deal additional damage and inflicts orange. Opponent's stun resistance 100%, striking haste 15%, and that is it. So, what seems to be the thing that I've changed? Well, first of all, she is now giving out both burn and scorch damage, as you can see here. Uh, she gets it on her force strike, and she also gets the ability to get a strength amp, so that's something that is new here. But other than that, uh... Oh, the dispel is new. That's brand new. So, it looks like they gave her a lot of stuff to kind of use, but the problem is, is which has always been the problem with her from what I understand from people who use her and like her a whole bunch, is that she just doesn't deal any damage. Um, she's very weak, so I don't know if the batted stats is going to be enough to kind of push her to uh, the top of some things. I don't think it's very... It, fire is a very hard element to kind of break into, so... It's not like I expect much from most fire units to use, like, oh my god, how come the top meta units in fire, or how come this new fire unit can't break into fire? Have you looked at fire lately? Have you looked at the stupid, crazy, oh, powerful units that are in fire? Like, if they kept releasing units that constantly broke the game for fire, then you may as well just close the game because that'd be kind of the end-all be-all. But that doesn't mean that there's not room for units that are kind of usable and perfectly good for what they do and perfectly fine. Like, not every single team needs to be able to auto-complete everything, but I guess there are, of course, people... For the people who care only about that, then congratulations on the... You can keep on skipping every single Mana Spiral released since basically the beginning. No, I think they're... No, not Mind Spirals in general. From Especially Trials of the Mighty ones, so you can kind of skip most of them. Well, no, no not um, Cassandra. You got a Cassandra. But even then, you just use her Scared Shell, I think. Same thing... I think the same thing goes for Verica. Summer Verica. I'm trailing off now. So, it remains to be seen. The Force Strike... The, 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 we'll have to see if they what they change about her Force Strike. She could be like Xander, where her Force Strike that they buffed it and now it's super good and it's crazy good and makes her super good for all content going forward in fire 
Uh, I think she should have uh, the ability to have to give two ailments at once seems pretty good to me. It also seems like she's not going to have much problems with it. I think Galaxy is another unit, uh, Galaxy, uh, can uh, um, deal both Burn and Scorch, but it's a little bit less consistent with her. And Leia seems like it's super, not super easy, but it seems at least like you should be able to do it. Based off of the wording here, I don't really see a huge cooldown as to not being able to both inflict constant burning and scoring over and over again. Um, so for something like Roy, he'd be she'd be pretty good for that. And they did just add a whole bunch of new stuff for Roy. Maybe that's why they felt like giving her a mana spiral now. Who knows? But yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on her. I, I really like the look of Leia in general. I wish she was a unit that could be usable. And I need to always do Trials of the Mighty missions because I need to get uh, that free multi guaranteed every month. So I'll have some material for her. I won't be able to show anything because it takes like six months to finish one Trials of the Mighty if you're not a paying person and you're not constantly saving. So that's going to be a little bit tough. But I digress. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can leave a like. I'm glad to no longer be ASMRing because boy, do I hate when that happens. But you guys have a good day. You have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye bye. See you later. Advita say peace. Why am I having such a hard time ending this video?